they blame people for not knowing that Cloud was gonna be like secret top tier yeah. when he first came out. Cause like, who's gonna, who figured out that if I do my spike move, my dare, yeah. if I do oh, it correctly. Do it the perfect spacing right when the, the sword's light stop shining. Yeah, I, it auto cancels. Yeah. Like, who thought of that? I, I also like that he's like the only character who has a visual representation of exactly when to auto cancel it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's such a weird decision. But like, I mean, I like the moment Cloud came out, I was like, okay, I'm this is gonna be my new main. I'm gonna play him so much, and I love him. Like he's he's like I told people he's a combination of all of my different characters. But then like the further I got with him, the more I was just like, this character feels really easy. <laughs> like like he's got a lot of cool stuff, but like he didn't. I, I think didn't, fundamentally I didn't, I didn't, he's very easy. Yeah, he he's 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 like one of the best fundamental characters in the game. Um, I, I just I just couldn't get into him. Yeah. Also, that also, was, also he has really no combo throws, yeah. and like his throws are just kind of. Eh. His, his yeah, but like, like only down throw combos sometimes. None none of his down throw combos are legit though. They're all 50 50s. Yeah. Because uh, they can they can SDI up and away, and then he can't get like everyone was for a long time. They're just like oh just do side B, and then that's a guaranteed combo. Like no, they can get out of that unless they're like, a very heavy character. Or they're very much a fast faller. Fast fallers can just shield before yep. he can do anything. Uh, uh, but he's he's also has like insane punish too. Yeah. Because especially with limit, it's like you're gonna eat percent or die. Especially with finishing touch. Like I remember when like Cloud first came out, finishing touch. It's like this move is so slow and it only does one percent. It's so bad. Yeah. This is never gonna. No one's ever gonna get caught by this. <laughs> like like back when I started, I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna use. Uh, like I didn't know about down air, so I didn't. That isn't part of my game plan. That's why I'm not good with him anymore. And I never used uh, finishing touch because why would I? Now it got nerfed. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Who needs but, that uh, anymore? Now, now we're seeing Ned versus Tyro. Ned versus Tyro. Ned going zero suit. He's he's been more confident with zero suit even after the patch. Wait, what? He he's com he's comfortable in this matchup. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I can see it. Bye, Orange. I hope you had fun. See, say hi to my roommate tomorrow. Say hi to my roommate tomorrow. All right, looks like we're going to start. And yep. All right. So now we're starting up. We're going on empty first. I know uh, Ned loves to try to space out with that Zare. Try to just keep him away and you know, prevent any jank or shenanigans. Yeah, it's game one. Um, also, the, these two have had a long history together. Yes. For a long time, uh, Tyroy was, I believe, 9-0 against him. Yeah, uh, and they, were, they were about to go to 10-0 at House of Pain. And uh, Ned brought it back. Uh, and he wound up winning with, with Sheik. Yes, free catch um, Sheik ditto. And Tyroy is very weak in the ditto. Or he's not very comfortable with it. So, so Ned finally, you know, can say he's beaten Tyroid. But, you know, now Tyroid's got Bayonetta. And at Midwest Mayhem 2, uh, or Midwest Mayhem 1. Yeah. Tyroid ended up getting up. Ned with his Bayonetta. He 2 would him. Really? Yes. So, right. uh, Tyroid definitely not phased by that one loss. It's you know, charity game, I guess. Yeah. But, uh... Not to make fun of Ned or anything like that. <laughs> no, that well, was that I was mean, really I mean, their point. their uh, record is one of like legends. Like everyone probably kind of knows. Like, uh, Tyroy has kind of had Ned's number. Ned's gotten a lot better. Oh, uh, that's not gonna kill you yet. Good old, good old, good old patch. And it's very funny because since Tyro was at school, Ned was just kind of like dominating our weeklies. Yeah. And then when Tyro came back, he came from like the hyperbolic time chamber and it's better than ever. So I think a lot of people would agree that these two are our best in Chicago. I, I would probably say that. Uh, Ned, Ned and Tyro have been just like, oh, that's going to be a stop. Good very very smart, just waiting for the witch time and just hitting him with that up beam. And that also means he waited for the, um, the master pin too. Yep. So he's been working on that timing. And 
Zero Suit is one of the best recoveries in the game. Yeah. So I think, because Flip Kick is invincible. Flip Kick it's... is invincible for uh, a good majority of the moves. And uh, especially against Bayonetta. Bayonetta is uh, Oh. 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 Got, a little, got a little bit too far off stage there. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Well, well, he he probably he uses double jump for the second up B. Oh yeah, that's right. So he couldn't really recover at that point. And he didn't side B back. Yeah. Oh, cause he missed. So yeah. He couldn't side B back. So that that's what happened. Okay. So and I don't think Bayonetta can like he couldn't really float back to the stage in time, and so he no, just, yeah, he just kind of fell out. Uh, he also missed the up air too. Yeah. So if he if he connected with the up air, then at least he would have taken the stock. But yeah, but he sadly he did miss the side the uh, side B, so he couldn't recover back. But most likely banking on the fact that he could get he could hit the, get that hit. But uh, looks like Ned is DIing them properly, and preventing himself from that hit. I mean, I I would assume he probably. I mean, my guess would be he watched the match they had and just tried to learn things that he might have done wrong in the matchup. Yeah. Also, uh, not many people like DI Bayonetta's combos properly. So I think Tyra is like really used to that because like when he played like admittedly not many people DI'd it. Yeah. Except for Mr. R and he even said that like Mr. R was like one of the first to DI it properly. Even Ally couldn't really DI it properly. Yeah and, and Mr. R uh, before he went to his match with Tyra was telling a few people in the crowd that like he, he that just no one does it correctly so he, he said he'd show everybody. And basically what you have to do is you have to DI the up B either straight down or straight up. So it's a 50-50 in which if he guesses, if the Bayonetta guesses correctly uh, which way you're going to go, then it's, you know, it, it could be a stock. But otherwise, it's it's a very, because most people just DI like to the side, I think. Yeah. And that's just, it doesn't really change any of the hitboxes. But right there, he was able to connect the uh, final up there. Send yeah, it to the moon. Did, did finally get, get a stock off that. Uh, he did also SD, or SD the uh, first game, so um, now it might be nope. I would say it might be Ned's turn. He'll slide the up air. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is this death? No, no. not yet. He he uh, he hides some less and then uh, they're not to get out of that. Very smart from Ned. Not not getting killed again. <laughs> yeah, dying is a bad thing in this game. Yeah, it quite is. I think he might have won. Oh, that's a stop, though. All right. Paralyzer into you. Into up B, guaranteed. Paralyzer is probably actually a really good move against uh, Bayonetta. Yeah, it kind of keeps her away. And, 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 and honest. Like, yeah. You can't really do anything. So, uh, oh, no. That's it. Witch. <laughs> Caught him with the witch time. Got, got the witch into up tilt into the oh, giant fist. I, I don't know. There's not much to say about that. I mean, yeah. it was a good read from Tyroy. And, and Ned was already coping that for it, yeah. so it was... That, that wasn't really, like, super jam. <laughs> I know a lot of people complain about Witch Time. Yeah. And, but I mean, I mean, Witch that was got a, nerfed. Yeah, and that was an appropriate use right there. Yeah. He, he didn't use it. You know, he's used it in a situation where it seemed like, you know... Ned, Ned was going in really hard. He knew Ned needed to get, a, get some hits in because he was really far behind. So he knew right there to uh, to go for the, the witch time. Oh, he's doing a big chain right now. Uh-oh. Excellent strength. Nah, he's going he's gonna to survive that. But look at all that damage. Yeah. Within 15 I think seconds it was, of the match. I think Tyroi knew that Ned was going to DI uh, towards the stage, so that's why he didn't go for the finisher up air, because yeah. it would have missed. So he just did uh, the fair combo. And yeah, he and racked up a ton of percent. 82% in 15 seconds. Oh, the duck saving him there. I think that's why uh, Ned took him to the stage. Because that the, makes sense. the ducks can mess up in Ned's combo. Oh, right there. He really wanted the the flip kick. But Tyra just DIing away and air dodging. Uh oh, that was, that was really poor. Uh, I'm surprised uh, Tyra didn't go for a grab there. Oh. Oh, good. I'm also, Tyra, he, he was forced to wall cling yeah. and to jump back on stage, and then Ned, and 
that uh, knew what to do. And yeah, he his just... wall, uh, Reyna's wall clean. I think she has the best wall clean in the game. But that's useful, like, down beneath, below in the stage, not right next to the opponent. Yeah. You don't want to do that ever next to the opponent. Trust me, I know. I used to play Squirtle and Brawl. Well, that was the worst thing. All right. Getting, getting the witch time. Not witch the witch, witch twist. twist. Witch twist. It's an up air. The, you know, standard bread and butter. Sta yeah, the standard combo board. Oh, uh, he'll slide into up tilt. Good up tilt there. Oh. Saw that he was behind a little bit too far behind. Uh oh, he doesn't have a. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> so oh, bad. I forgot man. about that. Yeah, no, and Duck Hunt too. It. Duck Hunt actually helped him with that. It yeah. was, it was pretty scary. <laughs> I thought Tyroid SD right there. Yeah, but l l luckily Tyroid at least aware of the fact that she has such a good wall drop. So everyone's at I mean, they're mid percent. Both, they're, yeah, they're they're both about even. Yeah. Especially now, they're actually even. So who's gonna who's gonna get the, the first shank kill? Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be Tyroy with the up yep, there. there it is. Sealed it out with the uh, witch twist. I called it. Oh, that's not. That is not, not happy. happy. Especially because the cable's still twisted up, so you can't yeah. quite. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And it was still a very close match, though. Yeah, I I don't think he should be too angry at himself. Like he played it out very well. And yeah. Like I I still think he's it's he, it, it he must not, be frustrating because it's like you know it's it, gonna be pain out of things. Yeah. It's also it's, like he probably feels like he has to work work much harder. Yeah. Even especially now this character got some major. Hurt. 